couple set, set theoretic proofs we're gonna try, gonna try to do here. So the first one says that A minus B minus C is a subset of A minus C. <laughs> I separated my board into two because I assumed that I was going to be proving an inequality here, which means we typically do a double containment. But I just, I guess I just have twice as much space to prove this one if I need it. This is only a set containment going to the left, so I actually only have one direction I have to prove. So let me start off like that. So if I'm going to try to prove set containment left to right, I need to take an element on the left and show that it's in the right. So let's let x be an element of a minus b minus c. So if x is in a subtraction, is in the difference of sets, that would mean that x would have to be in the first set, so x is in a minus b, but we don't want x to be in c, but x is not in c. Okay, so x is not in c. Okay, but x is in a minus b, so what does that actually mean? So now we have x is in a minus b, which means x better be in a, and x is not in b, but remember, we already knew that x is not in c. So technically, I don't even care about this fact right here. I don't care about the fact that x is not in b. I have here that x is in a, I also have from the line above that x is not in C, so from those two facts I can now conclude that so x, it's in A, but it's not in C, so x is in A minus C. And that would complete this proof because we only had to go one direction. So why don't you try the second proof? And this one is an equality, so now you're going to definitely have two directions to do. So you might just try one and then check the video out. I'm going to go left on this first one. So let me go left, and if you want to follow along, you can, or you can pause and try it on your own, but you can pause before the green or the other side also. So let's just do this together. Let's suppose that x is in, suppose x is in b minus a union c minus a. Okay, what does that mean? The union means you're in either one or the other. So that would mean that x is in b minus a, or possibly x is in c minus a. Right? One of those two things has to happen. What would it mean if x was in b minus a? So what would that mean? That would mean that x would have to be in b, but x is not in a. Or on the other hand, from the right hand side of the or, you'd have to have that x is in C, but x is not in A. Okay, so what do we have overall? In both cases, we have that x is not in A. So no matter what, x is not in A. Even though it's an or, both sides of the or have that statement. As far as the other pieces, we do have x is either in B, or it's potentially in C. So, if x is in b or c, we can say x is in b, or x is in c, but x is definitely not in a, because in both cases x wasn't in a. But if x is in b or x is in c, that means that x is in the b union c, and x is not in a, so therefore x is in b union c, difference A, just as we needed. And that completes the left hand containment from the left to the right. So as you can imagine, if we're going to prove these sets are equal, we're going to have to do a right hand containment too. Again, pause the video if you want to try to give this a shot on your own, and I'll do it for you too so you can see it by the end. But assuming you pause it if you want to and tried this out, suppose on this right hand side that x is in b union c minus a. What does this mean? That would mean that x is in the first set, the b union c, but x is not in a. But x is in b union c, so that would mean that x is in b, or x is in c, but we know for sure that x is not in a, certainly x is not in a. So 
since we have either B or C, it's now logically equivalent to call upon this statement. We can say that X is in B and X is not in A, because we know definitely X is not in A, or potentially X is in C and X is not in A. And can you see how we're going to get there now? It's almost done. This one means that X would be in B but not A, or this one would mean that X is in C but not A, and so last line, X is in B minus A, or unioned C minus A, just as we were hoping.